Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 63, along with Sakthoth. And we're going to be doing something a bit different. So, normally on Wednesdays, I've been doing EpiVod streams because, well, I did it at first because EpiVod regular casts, it seemed. And then people said, hey, you should do this more. I like it. And in a way that made me feel like it was a training diary. So, I thought, great idea, but I'm figuring. Maybe it would be a good idea to have someone who really knows what they're doing come in and help me out like I did with Skullgirls. So that's what we're doing right now. Is Sakdoth and I with Sakdoth. Basically, me learning with Sakdoth. How to play 0k properly. Sort of running through some sort of basic stuff. One thing, generally when I, I would coach someone, I would coach them on a big open map and tell them to play with nothing but raiders and mexes and win the game with that and no defenses. But Shadow Fury actually relies too much on raiders and no defenses, and he actually needs to get better at building defenses. So we're going to try going with, um, he's going to defend against me, and I'm just going to go all out, balls to the wall, like raider spam, and see if he can expand defend it. And he's not, not going to worry about defending me because he's going to beat me with, with economy. Yeah, that's the idea at least. So hopefully we'll see, how that, we'll see how that works. I mean, it's something that, it's my weakness, but hey, that might work. So basically it's no raider spam. That's the big thing. Yeah, I spam raiders, you don't raid, you don't even bother going at, at my base. You just get a huge economy and then you just crush me with, like a, with, with a mallet. And you want to get to the point where you're actually beating me, um, uh, where I'm playing in a way which is limited enough where you can beat the strategy I'm pulling against you. So we'll just keep trying that until, yeah. Okay, sounds good. It is a limited play style, but it will, you know, it's not like a competitive game, but it will sort of focus you in on very specific strategy practicing a specific set of skills. Okay. So we're just getting the game started, and once that happens, I'll switch over to that so you can guys can see the game, rather than see this pretty little title screen. Uh, That's okay. Yeah, you taking longer to load on the new engine, or...? Time. Sorry. There was... The noises from Chrome. I don't want... Do you do um take longer to load on the new engine or something? Because that's quite, taking quite a while. Yeah. I don't know. I always seem to take a while to load. I don't know why that is, right. but it just seems to happen. Okay. I don't know if it's local widgets or if it's my computer, my hard drive. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the strategy I'm using against you is actually it's actually like a semi-competitive strategy. Usually you'll do this with vehicles where you'll you actually do like a three max start. And then you'll just spam nothing but raiders, scorches in particular, and try and crush the opponent with that. Goda actually does this, surprisingly. Sometimes I'll be playing against him and I think, oh, he's so out expanded, he's making so many raiders, he's so containing me. And then I'll quit and I'll see he's actually still on three mexes or something. Or barely only just expanding, he does this very low expanse thing. Yeah, well, Goda does like to play like that. Mm. I mean, actually, Goda plays that any way Goda wants. Yeah, he does a lot of, has a lot of styles. <sighs> Man, what is going on with the speed of the game? Okay, it, sorry about that. Oh uh, yeah, you're weird. getting a bit of lag, I think. It's it's speeding up and slowing down and stuff. Yeah, my stream just went weird too. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's hope it's okay. Hopefully. Anyway, sorry. Back to the game. Yep. As I'm jumping around the camera. So yeah, basically, I guess I'll be just playing more like Sakdal said, focused on defenses rather than focused on. Anything yeah, else. you can build raiders for defense as well. Raiders and radar is is fine, but you do want to get up your static defense early. Worry about your early LLT placement. And you maybe want to go LLT and defender in your base. Yeah, or two LLTs or two defenders. Up to you. Slow down zooming a bit. That's better. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure what you're expecting me to have. I mean, I will have some raiders up. Because the, mm -hmm. the viewers can see what I'm doing, they can't see what Sakdoth's doing until I do. So that's one thing to point out. But I will have... And I guess I won't be seeing very much of that since I'm not going to be... Wait, am I allowed to scout? Is that part of the challenge? You don't need to, basically. You know what I'm doing. Um, oh, right, you okay. can You can scout if you like. You can scout so you know when I'm coming and where I'm coming from. But I'm just be, I'll just be spamming raiders out of three mexes basically the entire game. Okay. Which might actually beat you, because it's actually, it's actually, like, pretty strong. Alright, so I, that, at the same time, though, that means that I can basically do a bit of a hard read on this. Yeah, I, I you know can. what you're I think... doing, so... 
Yeah, you can just sit and pork, but I will contain you. If you sit and pork, I will contain you. So you're gonna need to move out. No, I meant more like and, I can focus on things like riots. Yeah, if you like. Because I know I can get away with it. Yep, you just scattered my um initial rush just there, so. Yep. Ooh, all right. You already got a. I have a few. Except not enough. Shoot. Okay, I'm not sure why that glaive is going in from the north. That what the heck was that thing doing? Yeah, not enough early defenses. Um, I know I screwed up. You need up. to jump your commander in. Uh, oh right. You're um you shouldn't have gone. Yeah, you should always intercept with the commander. When you saw me coming earlier, you should have basically just um. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of units here, but you probably can't recover from this. Uh, the caretaker is too early. Um, when you saw my raiders coming in, you scattered my early raiders. Actually, you the caretaker. Have gone. Oh, should have stopped it. Yeah. You should have gone and intercepted with your commander. Just send your commander in there. Um, basically hit in at the same time as the LT. And if you're hitting at the same time as the LT, you're um. Right, you have gotten a sneaky expansion out, but you run out of resources now. Oh, nice. That's that's good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Stardust. I'm so glad they're being used now. Mm hmm Highly underused, def or previously highly underused defensive option. Not so underused anymore. Thankfully, people have actually been using them. I I'm glad to see that. Yeah, I think um, early on, uh, it's a general practice thing. It Maybe for defending three yeah. Nexus, it'd be worth it, but um, not necessarily. One of the things you can do with Stardust quite easily, though, is this. Ah! What I'm doing now. Because they're very low to the ground. Because they're not high. About. They're not high, yeah. Gosh. I can just do that. And okay. Kill you well, like that. That's one of the disadvantages of Stardusts, where LTs are slightly higher up. They can shoot over things more easily. Although you can to still be do that a bit. Fair. You can just terraform them. Yeah, you can. Um, it makes them cost a lot more. How expensive is terraform again? Like, I never really am sure. Uh, it's enough that um, Stardusts are already pretty expensive. Oh. Good. You're intercepting with your um commander. How do you feel about this? Do you feel like you have a have a chance here? I reckon you probably might. I don't know. Just the reclaim is helping. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to take out your energy here. Yeah, I've got a lot in storage. Full disclosure. Okay. So it's not like I'm completely out of options. Mm-hmm. But I am kind of relying on storage at this point to, to fall back myself into the game. Well, storage and reclaim. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of glaze. All well positioned for my warrior to kill them. That was... Unexpected. Yeah, um, I tried to surround your warrior a bit there, but... Um, Didn't quite work. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think... Um, I think you'd rely... Yeah, you're relying very heavily on riots. Well, riots, they basically yeah. beat raiders, don't they? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I think you you're beating me, <laughs> so it's working. But um, you should probably uh, what you want, probably want to focus on is more um, static defenses, static defense placement, um, intercepting with the commander early on, intercepting raids, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean the rights work as well. You probably get an ad, ad expanded by an opponent doing this. But yeah. yeah, but since I know as that's the thing, it's the only problem with this training exercise. Yeah. I know what you're doing, so I can kind of counter it. Yep. Like, I know you're going very heavily for for, uh, for raiders, so I can just go heavily on riots. Mm hmm. And attack the home base with riots since warriors are an assault unit. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Well, uh, they're, they're sort of an assault unit. I mean, they're assault ca capable. Yeah. I reckon you've, you've almost won this. Uh, let's see how much you expanded, though. I'll, I'll see Not you... much. Not much? No. Yeah, let's see how much this match you got off. Yeah, you can see I, I was on 3 max and I basically... Yeah, I'll, I'll blow myself up now and see how you did. I was actually... I was trying to build a second expansion, but I was really just desperately trying to get my units back into position. 
Like yeah, in a real you didn't game, get much I, expansion in. I was just parading your base out constantly there. I think, yeah. um, you know, I've always expanded it all and have you sort of quite contained. Oh, yeah, totally. But yeah, um... Uh, that was good. I mean, you beat me, um, which is good. In a limited... Uh, let's try that again. Limited environment. Sorry? In a limited environment, yeah. still something. Yeah, but, you know, we found a circumstance under which you, you beat me, which is good. Um, let's try that again with... Um, this time, I'm not going to just use raiders. So if you respond with riots, I'm just going to spam rockos at you. <laughs> um, so you're going to need to uh, expand a bit faster and build your uh, your um, uh, um, build your economy a bit more. Because mm -hmm. I will build build assaults and I will build counters. Yes, and that was what I, I was would say to you: focus on rather than riots. Focus on just just as a pra general practice thing. Focus on defending with raiders. Defending with your own raiders. And um, scouting, sure, is fine. What you did there, you intercepted me there with that raider, and that gave you a lot of advance warning. And you probably could have stopped that initial raider attack, which would have, in a probably regular game, probably would have killed you. Um, uh, yeah, so intercept with your own raiders. Intercept with your commander is important. So expanding towards the enemy with the commander. Jungle commander is actually very vulnerable to these sorts of rushes. Um, I could right. snipe you out if I was in the right situation, if I didn't run into sort of as much opposition. Um, and yes, the focus on static defense and expanding a lot. And defending is expanding defended. So if you do send your raiders out with your constructor, and also right. um, having radar on to practice, if you are going to expand naked, which you can do with this factory, when you see something coming, you cloak your constructor and have them sit there right from the corner until the raiders go past. Then you go back to expanding again, which is something cloakbot can do. It's really strong. Right. Hmm? Okay. So same map. I think that'll work. Okay. Uh, yep. <laughs> I think this map's good. Sounds good. All right, so once it gives again, you out of hills. approach and yeah. What's the little title of the stream? Hmm. Eh, it's not that important what map we're using. I don't know if you noticed my latest cast, I have a little text below what's going on on the stream. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to see what, well, you can kind of get some idea of what's happening in that particular stream at that particular time. More for tournaments than for exhibition matches and FP VODs, but it's still useful there. Mm hmm Yep. I'll say that. Okay. Oh, wait. I probably screwed this up. Oops. Ah, and make the old audio mistake I always make. But back to the game. So we have second match with me, once again, trying to essentially defend me not allowed to raid. I'm not allowed to play the way I'm so used to playing. Since that's that's how I play all the time is raiding, but Yeah, often you do a thing where you'll send in and this is what you did in that game where I was playing slashes, you send in a group group of three glaives. Yep. And three glaives is just enough to do exactly nothing. <laughs> really? Um it's just enough to die to like an an LT and a bit of and a couple of glaives in, like, on the other side. It, it's good if it's, you want to keep the enemy honest, if you think they're cheating and not building any any defenses, but your scout one glaive is generally enough to find that out. Oh, okay. Um, and if you lose the three glaives, that's enough that it's actually it hurts you. Huh, okay. That's interesting yeah. to know. Because mm. you losing those three glaives set you behind, although you still would have won if you had gone sides rather than warriors there. Because warriors, they're not very good against. I mean, they are sort of semi-assaults, but they're still rioty enough that they're bad against slashes. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of sides. I suppose because sides are kind of a specialist unit, and thinking about the specialist mm. units is mm. always the trickiest thing to do. Mm, absolutely, yeah. They drain a lot of energy early too. Going them early is actually kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find the only time I can ever win doing that is if I have a massive skill discrepancy. If I'm that much better than my opponent, but at that point it's like, well, if you're that much better than your opponent, then you don't really need to even worry about that. Yeah, there are certain units that counter though. Oh, there you come. Wow. Wait, why wasn't I building? Crap. Ah, I don't know why I'm forgetting to go into infinite building. Normally, I always do that, and yet... Now I'm getting distracted. Oh crap. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> <Phew>. <laughs> okay. See, that's that's the risk of um yeah, slightly better micro from me and um that would have ended the game. That's the risk of going yeah. recon commander. That's true. Okay, so you defended I didn't do enough damage with that. The first time I did like quite like quite a lot of damage. This time you defended quite well. Um you put your commander in the way, which is good. But, uh, Actually, it's more than my commander happened to be there. Micro. That was a mistake. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, intentional or otherwise, you you had your posi- commander positioned forward of your base, so it's always going to intercept raiders from one direction to the other. So it's good. It's good pre-positioning of your commander, mm-hmm. luck or otherwise. Good habit. But I didn't do. I, I actually did zero damage there, basically. Um, so yeah, that's seriously with that's behind. a dozen raiders. Hmm. You fed me the metal. I almost so. ended the game, but almost isn't good enough. <laughs> no. I mean, it can help as you, because you're going attacking my other side. Crap! Get away! Get away! Get away! Let's try that cloaking trick. Oh, actually, I don't really need to, huh? Yeah, we got an LT there, so we'll see oh, how I this see. goes. Oh crap! Yeah, it's not going to go well. The LT is going to go down. Yeah, uh, you can actually expand naked with this doing that, um, just by cloaking your constructor. Because um, I'm going to clean this out, and you can just re-expand into it and get the reclaim as well. It's going to yeah. make it cheaper. That is quite true. Oops. Might as well actually defend against that incoming attack. Yeah, if you see it coming, you saw the first scouts coming in, which established there was an LRT there, because I, I just want to come in and sweep the... Uh, if the LRT is not up, sending the, a small amount of glaives in first. Just one or two, even then they'll die to an LRT. If it's not up, yeah. I'll catch it out before it's finished, which is really good. Um, it's a gambit, though, because I ended up there ended up being one there, and I ended up losing some. Yeah, but we'll see what I can do with this, then. Whew. Ah, shit! <laughs> I thought you wouldn't see that one. So close. <laughs> yeah, I have a, quite a large enough crowd of units, and yeah, I'll see it. I was looking at that going, please don't see it, please don't see it, please don't see it, please don't see it. Ah, you saw it. No. And now I need you to respect that. You can probably see by now that I have switched into Rocco's. I you're noticed, a lot of yeah, I heard. Yeah. Thankfully, though, I haven't been making exclusively rides, so it's not as big of a deal. I respected oh, that option. Oh, the riders. Okay, that's good, yeah. Yeah, I respect that option. Good. Apparently, I also should have built something like a Stardust. Ah, oh, shoot. No! <laughs> Wait, get out of there, get out of there! Get strong, get strong. Yes, okay. That should set you behind. I think I'm dead now. You might be, but um, I am still only on three mexes, so... <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of raiders still. I do. But that was a huge blow. I think that was actually... I don't know. It took out most of your energy. And your energy from yeah. the commander, so... I was, it was still at the point where it was quite a large chunk of my economy. Yep. This is gonna oh, hurt crap. you. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> Just saw yeah. it too. Right I, as I, I will be in. building counters this game, as I said. Yeah. That's... See if you can survive and stabilize everything against this. Okay. Good plan. We just have to move back. That's... Yep. Did not lose all of my glaives, though. That's one thing. Get rid of that. Well, oh. I'm just trying to close all your solar collectors. I'm just sort of hitting each one in turn right. to make sure they're closed, which will deny you energy since you just lost your commander. Yeah. At this point, though, I'm not too concerned. I really need more metal than I do energy, so it's not like it's that okay. big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, a Stardust is bad against Rockovers. Oh, yeah, that's true. My best bet would be Defenders. Ah, not again. Yep. Okay, that's not gonna help any. Get more of these guys up. You mind trying that? Yeah. That's what really good. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? 
You do realize no, it's really good. You do that was really good. The entire reason really good why game. I play this game over every other Total Annihilation clone is because I can do that, and it actually is worth it. Yeah, totally. I don't know if you've ever played Myth, the old Bungie tactics game, but no. Okay, well, basically, the entire game is that. Well, not entirely, because they're a melee unit, so you have to be careful how you handle those, because they have to surround. But mm -hmm. the entire ranged game is basically rocket dodging when you're well, dealing with archers. Yeah. It's fun. Oh. Wait, I didn't want to quite do that. Okay. Oh, crap. Get back. <sighs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that many yet. Hmm. Yeah, I should build some of these. Oh, it. oh my god. <laughs> what? Your glaive micro is, is actually really strong. Okay, oh, that hey, last bit was actually auto. Up. That wasn't... This but this yep. is micro Okay. But that was actually auto that was happening there. Crap. Yeah, you took out most of my... um. There. Yeah. Although now I'm taking out your constructors, yes, but I see you have, a sec uh, have an expansion, so I'm going to hit it? that. I had them building a lotus. What the heck? All right, you have to put on an infinite if you want to make that actually work, regardless of what happens. Okay, move this guy slightly forward. Hmm. Okay, and then. There. Sheesh. Oh, wow, that's a safe position. Darn it, that, I think that glaze is going to take everything out. Yep. It might do. Well, the best Depending way, and where your stuff is, is positioned, yeah. Not in position, that's for sure. Yep, okay. Close all your, um... Yeah, that's, soul panels. that's death. <laughs> yep. That lost cool. the commander. Right, yeah. The command is a big one. Close all the solar panels again. One, two, three, four. Wow, that's a lot of warriors. I have had them since... Yeah. Well, you switched Rocco, so I stopped building warriors. That's yep. what I had. I had those five warriors, and that was it. Can't you kite? Do not. Kite what? Kite against the rock rockets against LLT. Can't you fire, L fire rockets right outside of range? Uh, from outside of range? No. Oh. Maybe it's just you could fire rockets and get you out of range. You could go in, fire rocket, then dodge back out, but the okay, way to that's, fire on the game, rockets I can't recover. Is, I, 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 yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I messed, the, I messed the, the, the rocket dodging. I messed that up a bit because what I should have done is sent the glaives in at the same time as the relatives were firing on the rockos, but I sent them in a bit late, so right. I lost my rockos. But yeah, okay. Um, yeah, you can see positioning of the defenses matters a lot. Like, I actually, all at that big ball of glaives I sent in was around that little back path that goes around the back of your base that you put you positioned your warriors in to stop me and I went around that little back path that almost nobody uses um, it's not actually something I've used very often myself but this time it worked um, and this is the same thing that happened when you were playing on the system app to this one where someone just went around the back of your base your, mm -hmm. your, your defenses and took out you know all your back mechs which were totally undefended and you I knew know. the glaive ball was that's there. actually the first time I've ever seen anyone use the back door of Trojan Hills ever mm. Mm. No one ever uses that little path. I actually commented on it in my last stream on Saturday. I pointed it out. I was like, you know, no one ever uses this back path. Mm. So you can see my surprise, because no one ever does. Did you have a radar on me? On which? Oh, no, on, I, oh, no I built radar at one point, but you knocked it down, and I didn't get a chance to get it back up. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's really going to help you, obviously, there, when you're yeah, using that, worries. That was a yeah. problem. I should have used radar. You need radar. to position against them with your warriors and stuff. Um, so you had a blind spot towards that end, and you were using warriors to fill that blind spot. But I sort of swept in on that. Yeah, and I know. it was that very was... risky. Yeah, that I, was. I was doing these very risky dives on your commander, which is you know actually sort of dangerous for me because you can see that one that when I came in and your commander you know had most of his he had most of his hit points gone, but he managed to just just jump away. I just lost my glaze for nothing, which is why that's incredibly risky to do that sort of attack. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, if you can actually get the commander, it's and if he blows up in the middle of the base, takes out a bunch of uh, energy and stuff, or a bunch of your own units, um, yeah, that can win the game. Yeah, I suppose what I probably should have done is just... Well, I, I did jump away, but I jumped 
in the wrong. I should have jumped, accepted the fate, and then jumped away from the base completely. Um, well, it, it depends. I think you should have sort of always, if it's a situation where it's so early that losing your commander would set you seriously behind, um, it can be better to just say, to, you know, take the risk and say, I'm going to jump away to try and survive, take every opportunity I can, because if I die here, no matter where I die, I'm losing the game. Sort That's of thing. true, but it does mean I, I mean, either way, I'm blowing up all of your glaives. Well, not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, probably I think, blowing I think up that, all your um, glaives. I think that there's a risk in playing a um, recon commander. I think if you uh, basically, I'm really targeting down your commander in these games, and if mm. you're not playing a recon commander, I couldn't do that. I basically could not do that. Um, you'd have way too much hit points. Uh, but yeah, it comes down to your micro, and this is one thing you need to be aware of: is how much micro you have. It's like a resource, and by choosing a jump commander, you're basically choosing someone which uh, something that which makes you stall on micro, as it were. You have to pay more attention to it. So the moment it's attacked, you need to be paying attention to it. You need to be kiting. You need to be jumping. Right. These are things. So you're actually you're actually choosing commander a, a strategy which makes things more difficult to you. This is the same thing you do with raiders. You choose strategies which are very raider heavy and very defense light. Yeah. Um, which which makes your life more difficult. Yeah. That's yeah. I've mentioned it so many times before. It is. It's an old habit. Yep. Okay. So do you want to play again on that map or go to intersect? Uh, yeah, we can give that another shot. Which... I think. Um, you, you, if you think you're sort of you're learning something from that, you're learning sort of uh, positioning, defense, stuff like that. Um, we can give that another shot, or, yeah, or we can try progressing to. Let's try one more on Trojan and then go on to intersection. Wouldn't be a bad one. Yep. Okay. Right. So once again on Trojan Hills. Yeah. This will be the last one on Trojan Hills for everyone watching who is sick of Trojan Hills. I don't know why you would be because it's such a wonderful map, but if you are, for whatever reason, sick of it, this is the last game that will be on it. So you can yeah. be thankful? Anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, it's definitely something you, you want to do is um, uh, try... Uh, you're re relying a little bit on your, your starting three maxes because, you know, I only have three maxes and so you're defending those as much as possible. Yeah, but since I'm investing heavily into military, um, I should defend with a bit of expansion going on. Yeah, you need to really get your expansion going. You really need to. Um, okay. Well, this time I remember to put the expansion. infinite queue on, so it should work okay. a bit better. Yeah, that will help. Because I was, I don't know why I was making that mistake before. Right. All right, let's put a little patrol path, and then that going. Although, I thought it's going to... Okay, so I'm a bit better set up this time around. Hopefully that'll actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. One thing you're also doing is you're not expanding with the commander. You're keeping your commander at home. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. It's, which Oops. can be viable, but if you really want to play a big expand strategy, uh, your commander is just like... And it depends on, your, depends on your commander to pick. I always pick battle commander. Um, you can also pick strike commander. But... It just has more hit points, it's more durable, it's better for expansion, it's better for against rushes, it's better against a bunch of stuff. Um, I know mm -hmm. it's not a lot of people that pick different commanders, um, so I'm not saying it's the only choice. Yeah, but, I tend uh, to go for Recon or Recon or yeah. Econ. Usually. Recon's flashy. Recon is a fat, flashy guy who can pull off a lot of really neat stuff, um, but he needs to have, have a lot of attention paid to him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're picking your strengths and weaknesses there. You're picking, you're saying, you know, my micro is really good and I'm going to shine on my micro, which is not always the case when, you cut, when you're not paying attention to your commander and your commander blows up. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's quick. Oh, so someone's asking about formation move. Do you mean the line move that I'm doing all the time? Because that's just right click. That's just hold and drag right, or click and drag right click. And that's all it is. There's nothing more to it. And I have actually, I think I did a tutorial on that at one point. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of your solar panels here to actually make it so your commander's not 
oh. shooting at me? Yeah, that might have been a bad idea. Wow, yep. I didn't realize you get that many glaives that quickly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, and I'm playing sort of ring around the rosy and sort of dungeon Which commander. Which is always them. annoying, even though I had defend I had defenders set up and lotuses probably would have been yep. a better option in this case. Yep. Lotuses are um for a rush like this, definitely. I think. Oh crap. Oh no, my factory's yep. down. That's I hope you have a lot of expansion. <laughs> death. What? I hope you have a lot of expansion. How am I supposed to have a lot of expansions three minutes into the game? <laughs> That's not even possible. Yeah. Um, the best, the best I can is, do I is literally kind of, what I have done. Well, I guess not yeah, quite. Frankly, frankly, I am cheesing you here. This is kind of a cheese, um, but this is a cheese you will see. This is something. Yeah. Oh, you do have an expansion. Aha, you do. Okay. Oh, this is a big one too. Oh, you've yeah. gone heavy on the defenses here. Okay. Okay. I figured you'd attack before I managed to get the actual mexes up. So mm -hmm. I built a decent set of defenses first. Yep. It's I knew not a bad I way to play. To. Uh, you, if you, want, you can also you, uh, to start defenses first and then uh, put the... Um, it depends on the timing when you expect them to hit. And sometimes it's, the, it's better to just put down the maxes and if you raid, cloak you command, you cloak you can't, rebuild the maxes. Then if you raid, cloak you can't, rebuild the maxes. And only when the maxes stay up do you bother putting down the fences and stuff. Um, yeah, but, but uh, I kind of called that you were going to do fine. that. It's good. It's strong. I figured you would do exactly what you did in fact do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am, I, this is, it, I mean, strictly speaking, this is a sort of a, a cheese play, um, rather than what you'll see in, in standard play, but a lot of players do this. Uh, gotta, mm -hmm. Like I say, Gotta used to do it all the time, particularly with Scorchers, which are even worse than Glaives, and even more devastating, and he'd expand very slowly, and he'd pump out all his starting metal on, uh, on, uh, on Raiders, and then he would not make, he would not at all make, um, uh, Right. Uh, constructors. He'd only expand with his um. He'd only expand with his um. Oh, commander. Crap. Also, to answer Team Team's question, it's control. That's the button that you're thinking of when you hold a bunch of units of a group. Control is the button that lets you do stuff. Yeah, you actually yep. called it. There is a it. counter. There you is actually a counter called to it. Enough globe. Oh, no, no, I mean, I'm telling you, I know, I don't know what I'm doing. So no, I mean, you called the, you called the position of it, is what I'm no, saying. No, I, I just did a big long line move. So I just oh, spread them out I and see, I was okay. them back and forth across the map. Um, so I kind of uh, was new at it, and now I'm showing you the counter to that, which is if you ever come to that situation where it's like, where's the con? Just, just spread across the south side of the map forth. or the north side yeah, of the map. Spread across the edge of the map. Not even that, just spread them in a line and move them back and forth in a line. Okay. Crap, it's my last hope. Yep. Oh no, not even. <laughs> Come on! Even that's not gonna save me. Yep. I have I have nothing. Yep. Yeah, okay. <sighs> wow, you were just so that's, spam all I, that's all you were doing was spamming glaive after glaive after glaive. That was off it. Off the three maxes, yeah. I mean, wow. I, I'm not teach, uh, teaching this for you as a thing is that, here, you try and beat this. It, as an unrealistic situation, people will do this. And you need to... It's good to see it coming. Um, you can scout. As I said, you can scout. Send one glaive. Um, you'll run into my big pack. You'll see it coming. But, I mean, you actually know what I'm doing. You'll get timings that way, and you'll also get directions. And if, sometimes if you see my first glaive, I'll, like, go, shit, I have to actually attack from another direction because it'll just put everything this, this way. Hmm. Starting defenders is... Um, it's really good against scouts. Right, but not um, so good against a heavy assault. It's really not good against a heavy assault. Um, it's not good against would have been better, like or I suppose Stardust with terraforming. That no, would have been too expensive. Stardust, I would never recommend going Stardust early. Um, if there's a single choke point you can really hold, and this map has a few of them, if you have a high ground advantage, um, consider Stardust. Uh, yeah, those are situations in which you want to think about Stardust. Uh, but generally, um, it's particularly vulnerable to Rocco's because it actually has slightly less range than an LT, and Rocco's can actually outrange it. Hmm. That's a fair so, point. So that's a thing. Yep. Okay. Okay. So. So. Let's try intersection with vehicles. I don't know. Or do, do you want to still want to do cloaky? Um. Whatever you like. Whatever you feel, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can do vehicles. Um. We can try a different strategy as well. Um. You want to try um playing. Uh. You want to keep trying trying this and seeing if you can beat this like all the way to rush. Sure. Because this is a thing you'll run into, and it's a yeah. thing you should sort of 
know about, you should be aware of, and know, when you know it's coming, how to beat it. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, cool. Because you beat it the first time. And that I was did. partly, you know, yeah. And you try vehicles here, or you want to just do cloak? Clo Let's mirror, continue yeah. doing cloaky. This will still work for cloaky. Okay. So yeah, now we're at the intersection, so if anyone was sick of Trojan Hills, we are now in intersection. Different map. Yeah. This this map is much easier for you to defend on. Oh, yes. So, I just love yeah, I'm not going to be taking out your base here, mm -hmm. and then um, killing you with you killing you with a larger army. Yep. So you're going to have to sort of break out of a contain. Um, I guess using warriors and defended um, expansion or commander expansion. Yep. Or I might just kill you with a ton of glaives at the start of the game. So we'll see. Well, yeah, things will happen. I'll just have to <laughs> scout it, I guess, or check for it. Yep, sc scouting is good. Scout it's fine. So an early scout is okay now? We're not doing quite that same challenge Oh yeah, anymore. it's always been okay, but you know, you sort of know what I'm doing, you know, that I'm just going through Mexicans and spamming nothing but glaives. Right. So if you, want a, if you want a better feel of the timings, if you don't have an intuitive sense of when you're going to get hit by a giant pack of glaives, like when my metal runs out is when I hit you, I spam out my starting metal, and right. when it runs out, that's when you die. <laughs> I'm um, going to as well see if I can. It's going to be a bit harder on this map than it was before because... Well, actually, not necessarily harder, because in this map I don't quite have the same setup where I have all these paths and all these locations you might have started. Yeah, this I is know actually where um, you started. Yeah, this is actually probably be quite a, a lot easier for you. Right, let's see what you got. Although, admittedly, you also have four uh, four starting mechs, but the same power as the original three. Ooh, yeah, that's. That's going to be annoying. Let's see if I can get up there. Well, you still don't have anything at me, but I see that you are starting to build. You have about five or five or six glaives at this point, I'm guessing. As far as I can tell. Um, It's nine in total right now. Ah, okay, I see. A few of them have already arrived. Yep. I'm trying to see if you're... Trying to sneak something out, which you might well be doing. So, yeah. I'm, ooh, here we go. Is this against the rules? Right. It's 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 fine. Um, okay, because I'm I'll only going to use the one. Uh -huh. But I figure, hey, I might as well take out what I can. Oh, I nailed the glaive too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you killed my war my warrior. Not my warrior. My no, you didn't kill anything. Nothing's died. Yeah. Um, technically, attacking against this with your own glaives, um, if you can get me while I'm out of my base or something, but my commander's going to be sitting on my base the whole time, and I'm going to have a constant stream of units coming out of my base, so um, like the counter to this is not actually necessarily to hit, it's to defend and then hit back. Oh, here we go. <sighs> yeah, you see I'm spreading out a line, trying to catch yep. units as they come. Actually... Okay, well, in that case, I have to move forward a bit, don't I? Next comes out the micro. Yep. Yep, okay. I've got more units in range. I kill your glaives. And yeah, yeah he's your commander. Yeah, I gotta okay. think melee micro, not ranged micro. I'm dealing with that. Yeah, you had the hide advantage there too. Oh, no, that's a warrior. I'm yep, out. Yep, that would be death. But. Still. Yep, a warrior with high ground, no chance. Nope. Okay, this is getting a little problematic. I can do. Your warrior or your commander is, is like a big defensive bastion, so you can push out with that and take territory using them. Yeah. That's basically what I need to do and what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, or well, you can keep being sneaky. Sneaky is good as well. You just have to... But, um, yeah, defensive expansion is good. I don't know how well sneaky is going to work at this point, actually. Yep. I am scouting a lot, actually. <laughs> you are. And I can't seem to actually make sneaky do much work for me. Well, 
it's cheating but a little again, bit. But then slow like... and cautious is what I'm bad at, so I need to practice this. Like this is this is good to practice. Yep. I think maybe next we should. Uh... Oh crap! That's where you are. Uh, next we can try. I mean, we can try a uh, lower level player and just playing. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. Two failed ticks. Oh, three. Oh, there's another tick, I think. Unless I'm missing. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing things. Well, that's not good. I think I can take care of this, though, if I just deal with you. And that should fill. Oh, crap, they got surrounded. Well, that wasn't Yeah, great. you can if you split well enough, you can actually deal with uh, warriors with a superior number of glaives. Oh yeah, um, I know, it's six glaives to kill a warrior, yeah. if you split perfectly. Mm. I've actually done a decent amount of work trying to figure out what the count- what, what the turns actual the counter are, yeah. around. Like, what turns around the counter yep. structure. Yep. Although it's- it depends. Numbers are the ca are the case for riots, but when it comes to things like skirmishers, it's more terrain positioning. Yep. And given certain terrains, what can I get away with? That's where it becomes more of an issue. Or that's more where the issue is. That's what you have to do. Okay, so if I have this... I can't go. Oh, there it is. Where'd your con go? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my commander go? Oh, yeah. Like, is my commander dead? Did it suddenly die without me knowing? That would suck. And you know what's really fun when it comes to dodging is using a warrior to dodge reaper shots. Right. And winning that fight. Yeah. That is always a dodging fun thing to do. Dodging reaper shots is fun. Whoa. Yeah, you can actually dodge with the... Uh... Oops, here we go. No, what's going on? Amphib switch. <laughs> Amphib switch, sure. I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, Besides, yeah. why would I go for scallops against Rockos? No, my commander has the riot cannon. Or not the riot cannon, the... Not the riot cannon at all. The shotgun. Shotgun. Riot cannon is a leveler weapon. It's also dead. Although I put you in a position where the riots will act... Or raiders... No, I mean skirmishers would lose, but I can't get you in time, and now I've lost everything. Again. Yep. Yeah, knowing that you were going to go pure raiders was the only reason I could win, because I could go massive riots. Mm. But... Now I don't have that luxury, so I don't have quite the same approach. Just kill them, or don't. Yeah, you're actually, you're actually, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> you going to stun out your own units? Okay, well, yeah. luckily for you, I don't really have a whole lot in range. Oh, they're still stunned out. Oh, one more second. Didn't get really a lot of free hits. Shoot. Still. Something. Yeah, let's see if I did enough damage. Because you would have expanded by now. So now it's time to see if I did enough damage with that um, base raid to um, shut you down. Because I'm targeting your energy preferentially. Yeah. So that even if you're expanding... Yeah, if you're hitting the base, target the energy, because he'll have expansions. And if you're hitting the expansions, target the metal because um, he'll have energy in his base, sort of thing. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. Ah, shoot. I should have built defenses sooner. That was that was silly yep. of me. Yeah. Was your con idle at any time? Or yes. It looks like it wasn't on high priority. No, it Expan was. Expand putting your factory on low priority can be a really right. good Right. I've mentioned that before in my cast, too. I don't know why I forgot to do that here. Mm -hmm. Probably because it's a combination of high pressure and speaking. Which always kind of yep. it's always a little bit harder to play while speaking, but yep. that's fine. No, it's fine. I think that um, uh, it, it can be a choice though, because obviously I'm just pumping straight out of my out of, fa out of, out of my factory, so I'm going to have a huge unit advantage over you. So um, like obviously I'm picking basically high priority, so high priority that I'm not even building constructors. Mm hmm. Oh wow, that's a lot of Rokos. Mm-hmm. 
Might as well just get you guys. Ah, I thought I'd get them to hit each other. <laughs> Didn't that quite manage. Uh, with Rocco's, um, sometimes what you want to do is not actually skirm against raiders. You want to just run up to them point blanks and fire, fire your rockets right into their face. Because mm -hmm. then you can hit them. And if you can do that, that you, you can actually take them out doing that. That will definitely win it. Okay. Well, I right, think this is an death. expansion up there. Yeah, it might be, yeah. Oh, in the southwest? Yeah, I, yeah, I see you've got an expansion with um, some solar panels up there, so that should keep you alive a little bit longer. Uh, you're really skirmish, you're really distracting my... Um, I am, but I'm actually not paying too much attention terrain. to it. Yeah, I know, it's, it's distracting my rockets though. Which is good, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Oh, crap. That's what was happening. I could have had so many more glaze if I had actually properly used my reclaim for the last little while. Right. Yeah, I, I think, so um, did you have enough energy? Oh, yeah. I rebuilt pretty quickly for the energy. Okay, cool. Yeah, because you have the high ground advantage of the, um, wind generators up there. Yeah, it's just... Makes it quite a, a lot easier. Well, actually, it's not that... It's, well, 0.6. Actually, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, right. You still have all your stuff at home. Okay. Ah. What the heck? Oh, right. The ticks... Man, the tick explosion. It's always a little weird to be sure what's going to happen. Hmm. Come on, cost effective micro. No, nope, there goes your come. Oh, what? That's what. Ah, shit, I wasn't even paying attention to it. Why was it forward? Are you microing your glaives? Yes, and I forgot about the calm, and I was totally screwing that up. Yeah, um, depending on depending on your micro a lot can be a downfall. Um, often, uh, I just macro a lot and use fight order. A lot of good players do. Um, I know. A lot of high, high macro players. Uh, having good micro is really strong. I think your micro is actually, it's not that bad. Uh, it's more the, it's not, it's not the, how good your micro is. It's, it's uh, choosing how much what micro you, micro, you have. Yeah. And everyone has a limited amount of micro. And some, people have, some players have more than others. And maybe you said it's sort of an unfair advantage, but uh, everyone has uh, a limited amount of micro. And it's about what you invest your time in. And it's about um, one thing that you I see you not doing probably enough is just when you just code your brain to look for red pings or, and yellow pings on the mini map because that means right. there's a fight going on. When it starts pinging on the mini map with red and yellow, um, just immediately like snap your face to there because uh, you need to pay attention to that. Um, not even necessarily to micro, maybe even just send reinforcements or to you know intercept what's coming in. Because like mm. when I did that drop in your base with outlaws, I didn't even know there was uh, anything coming. I I, I yeah. couldn't tell what happened. Yeah, I actually flew over your um some of its math awareness in general. Because I actually flew over your um your base, your little satellite base you'd set up in the south, mm -hmm. southeast. And um I, I flew over that. And I'm like, oh crap, you saw it coming. But I actually managed to land without you, you know, knowing it was there entirely. So um mm -hmm. yeah um. You definitely, at least, it took you a, a while to respond there, and by the time you had, I'd taken out most of your base. Um, it's the same thing with that, with on the Trojan Hills or the system map to that, whatever, Benefit. where you had all those things sweeping out the back. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't take you too long to notice that going on, but um, here we go. Ah, okay. why were they clumped? Yeah, it's really frustrating. I know, Tixus is the, the most frustrating. No, it's more is. like, why were my glaives clumped? I was using, oh, right, I wasn't line moving them enough. Yeah, I, sometimes it, to magically put them yeah. into the perfect line. Yeah, if you line move um, sort of uh, parallel to your direction of movement, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, you actually, if you line move them, uh, if you line move them parallel, then they spread out. But if you line move them uh, in a straight line, they'll just walk along that line, and then slowly stop as they reach their destination. Mm -hmm. um, so perpendicular is bad. I mean, if I line move these guys like this, if I get them in a group, 
and then, then I line just... move them. Then I line move them like like this. Yeah, then they spread out. And as they're still walking going. in a clump, and now and then they'll slow. They're walking in a clump, walking in a clump, walking in a clump, and now they're slowly spreading out to their final destination. And now they're in a line, but before that they're always in a sort clump. Sort of, but so, it's not. Yeah. The it wasn't even the best line. Yeah, it wasn't even the best line. But even along the line like that, they'll do the same thing. They'll walk around in a clump. So yeah. Although then again, you can also do circly moves, like so. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, on the other hand, my warriors actually managed to get a bit of mileage. You're surviving on reclaim mostly, aren't you? Partially. No, no mileage for your warriors. Partially. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> You're I actually meant... in my base with warriors. That's what I meant. I'm in your base killing your mexes. Yep. Not quite able to kill your... That was, that was silly. I shouldn't have tried to hit your commander too hard. Yep. But yes, I am taking a lot off reclaim. I'm not taking everything off reclaim, though. I need to switch it up and then it's working. But yeah, then afterwards it'll be... It's still a little bit wonky though, but yeah, I'm... Oh, there they are. What? How did that hit? Okay, a lot of them got disabled that I don't think should have. That was weird. Yeah, um, ticks have... Uh, pretty long range, and sometimes they will actually fire outside of their um. Outside of the graphics. It's just most of my. They will fire um, and then the explosion will hit a little bit late because the explosion has a time to yeah it moves, but it actually is calculated whether it hits or not. It's calculated on when the explosion happened. So mm -hmm. if it's moved out of the range in the meantime, it will still get stunned. Yeah, I know. There's an engine limitation. Oh, okay, yeah, you've got a second expansion. Okay. Old engine That's limitation. What's going on? This is how you. Yeah. Um. I know. Explosions are essentially uh, uh, instant, instantaneous. Yeah, okay, so you do have an ex second expansion, right? This is something I haven't been checking with for enough. Nope. Um, I expected when I took your commander out that you were that you were gone. But, Not um, completely. Yep. Yeah, okay, now see, I spread my spread in a line against you as you come. I was walking in, in single file. And yeah. I spread out of line, which helps it, but actually, glaives are really good against Rockos. <laughs> They are, especially if you're paying attention. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, your glaive, or your rockers rather, they're in a line. You thought that was a good thing. Yeah. But I can go to the edge of the line. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Got to lay it out. Yeah, let's deal with that across the map. But yes, the... The reclaim definitely helped. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course you would. Oh no, that rock is dead. Okay. You would go for sides. <laughs> That's what I was saying, of course you would for. Yeah. It's like you would build sides. Okay, well this Well, for a cheese game. I survived 20 minutes. <laughs> it's not terrible. Yeah, no, you're doing right. That expansion, that uh, getting... Oop. Yeah, the hidden survived. expansion probably helped. Survived? What is this survive? Where's that commander going? What's he doing over there? Yeah, you're gonna win this one. Well, if it had been a real game, you would have... Or if it had been a game where you weren't committing to a cheese yeah. for the entire game, I wouldn't yeah. have won quite the same way. Yeah. No, um, but you, I mean, you expanded well. You kept your expansion up even under pressure, which is good. I think to agree, there's a degree to which, um, like, you managed to sneak that out, and I got distracted. Um, mm -hmm. But that's good. Uh, you did lose your commander, so yeah, but you still managed to recover from that. So this is all teachable lessons. Yeah. And that... Well, I'm losing the expansion gradually, but at the same time, I can just... Yeah, you, you've got enough here that um, you've won from this point. So the yeah. question here is how much LA you want to gain. <laughs> Oh. Uh, do you do you want do you want to gain a lot of ello? I'll 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 quit right now. If you want to gain a lot of ello, because I'm pretty much done. I'm dead. Well, You've won this why one, would it make a difference? What, what's the other? I'd only I gain ello on a win. Yep. So if you want to win this one, you can get the yellow. <laughs> I got the yellow for the first one too, actually. Yep. 
That's cool. I just don't want to end your LO over to. Yep, there we go. Good game. I'm down to one max. Overwhelming numerical advantage. Don't you have a scythe too? You have a scythe around here somewhere. Oh, uh, he died. Oh, really? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that was alright. That was good recovery. That was good reclaim. Yay! Um, I'd need to watch and to see what you're doing. situation, but still. Yay! Oh, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, you probably... You survived sort of the initial rush to a degree. I think when I came in with the Rockos, then I slipped around the side. That's something you really want to be aware of. You want to be in a position, um... Using for that is really good. A lot of people just sit a tick next to their LLTs. And when they if the Raiders flood in to sit around the LLT, they just... The tick goes off and they all get stunned. Mm -hmm. Which is really strong. Yeah, I kept forgetting to do that. I actually just built some mm -hmm. ticks at the very end, but I should have been doing that far earlier. Yep, I mean, ticks are, you can see ticks are really strong. Um, you need good positioning with them, and they are a micro-intensive unit, um, so if you want to focus on... But, I mean, the truth is you can, can actually just run them straight at the en enemy, as long as they're not in your main army. Mm -hmm. um, you can just sort of send them at the enemy. Roaches are even better from this. You can just... If you're down and you're losing and you're playing cloak fac, just start spamming roaches at the enemy and just send them straight in. Uh, just blindly and just hope to blow up, blow the enemy up and, and get the army advantage back and then you can start, you know, destroy his you know, army advantage and then get back. Particularly if you're playing shield or mirror. Yeah. Um, Roach is a good at that. Okay, well that's so, an hour, so I think that's probably pretty yep, good. sure. So thanks for, well, thanks for coming and doing this and... Yeah, I mean, I hope that was that was useful. Um, it'll it'll teach you a little bit that you know that there's a cheese there and everything, and that um that's a thing that people will do. And sometimes someone will have you'll be like, how do you build so many raiders? And you're gonna be like, ah, he's not built any cons. He's on three maxes. He's only gonna expand with his commander. I just need to deal deal with that and keep expanding. Yeah. Cool. Although it's amazing how powerful that can be. Sheesh. Yeah, I know you. I I want to. Frankly, uh, next thing I'd say is. Try that yourself. Because <laughs> it's point. really, really strong. Just don't make cons. Tons yeah. of raiders. Expand with the commander towards and, the and enemy. move when I On run out of sword maps metal. In particular? Yeah. Um, yeah, spam out your initial. Um, doing it with Scorches is really strong. Glaives is still really strong. Bandits is really strong. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, so thanks again. And thank you all for mm -hmm. watching. And have a good night, everyone. See ya.